Right, now we're looking at uh, lines and we've got these two triangles here. You'll see why they're relevant in a sec. Now, what do we notice about these triangles? Well, they're both congruent. Now, if you don't know what congruent means, it basically means they're the same. They've got the same size angles. They've got the same sides here, all right? And they're both right angled triangles. Now, if they're both right angled triangles, this green and this pink one, must add up to 90, because if that's 90, we should know that a triangles, uh, the degrees in a triangle add up to 180, so if that's 90, these two here got to add up to 90. We've also got the same angles in each, so a green and a pink, all right, make 90 degrees. So I'm gonna actually mark that on here as 90 degrees. Now, what we can then say is, all right, we can then find the gradient of these using the rise over the run. Now, if I look at this one here, the rise over the run, well, it's gone up three when it's gone along two, the rise over the run gives me a gradient of three over two. I'm gonna leave it as three over two. I know it's one and a half. I'm gonna leave it as three over two and you'll see why in a second. Now with this one here, the rise over the run, well, it's gone down two, so it's minus two and it's gone along three over three. Now. What is the relationship between those two gradients? Well, actually, what's happened is, once I've got this one, all I've done is turn it upside down and change the sign here, okay? Now, what you might see this written as is minus two thirds, all right? But minus two over three is the same thing. So, perpendicular lines, now perpendicular means they meet at right angles. Perpendicular lines, their gradients, okay, they multiply to make minus one, and all that's saying is that once you've got one and it's a fraction, turn it upside down and change the sign. So if I show you another example, if I have a line whose gradient is say three, okay, the perpendicular gradient, perp gradient is gonna be, well, what's that as a fraction? Well, I'm actually gonna rewrite it as a fraction there, turn that fraction upside down, change the sign. Okay, so, if the gradient of a line is three, it's perpendicular line, the gradient would be minus a third. Now, the same sort of thing if I had another line with a gradient of, uh, what should we say, minus four, the perpendicular, perpendicular gradient would be, well, what's that as a fraction? Well, it's minus four over one. Turn the fraction upside down a quarter, change the sign. Okay, so all you're finding here is that you change, turn the fraction upside down, change the sign, or some people might say if you multiply the two gradients together, the answer is minus one. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.